What the Japanese authorities are doing at the moment is discharging very weakly radioactive material into the ocean to make room in storage tanks for much more radioactive water from the plant. Um, which is the kind of desperate measures that this circumstance calls for. At the very heart of this crisis is keeping these fuel rods cool. Because when you turn off a nuclear reactor, so to speak, the, uh, the fuel rods, which are highly radioactive, still remain hot. And you really, really don't want those fuel rods to melt. So all of this water that they're pumping in to try and keep the fuel rods cool have to go somewhere. There's no standard procedure for dealing with these reactors. And so if what the plant operators um, are doing looks improvised, that's because it is improvised right now, because they really are having to make it up as they go along and just do the best they can under exceptionally difficult conditions in order to try and keep the situation as much under control as possible. Seafood is going to become contaminated. And indeed, they've already found the first fish that have higher, than, uh, high, higher levels of radioactive iodine and cesium than are acceptable. But this is a manageable problem for humans. You know, the food is going to become radioactive. There's probably not much you can do about that right now. But what you can do effectively is stop it from entering the food chain. The, the radioactive iodine has a half-life of eight days, which means that every eight days, there's only half of much of it left. So, you know, this is nasty stuff. You really don't want to be ingesting significant quantities of radioactive iodine. But over the course of just a few months, it will uh, decay away into insignificant levels. But secondly, the Pacific Ocean is enormous. And that radiation that has longer half-lives, that decays more slowly, is going to be more and more diluted. Uh, and, um, you know, a significant distance away from the plant. Even, um, I mean, at the moment, even, you know, many tens of kilometers away from the plant, the radiation is undetectable.